back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy, for those of you who are new. And for those of you who aren't, hello, welcome back. Today, I thought I would give you a tour of some of the crew only areas on Harmony of the Sea. So a lot of you have been asking for a ship tour. I'm not gonna do a full ship tour just because I literally don't have the time. This ship is so huge. And I don't think I'd do it justice. There's so many ship tours that are fantastic, they're very in-depth, so I will link a few below. But this video is gonna be of some crew owning areas that you may not have seen before. Okay, so I am currently on deck six, so I'm gonna flip the camera. So now we are gonna walk onto the helipad. On some Royal Caribbean ships, passengers can actually get to the helipad and enjoy it, but on Harmony of the Seas, this is reserved just for crew members. So if you are gonna be sailing on Harmony, just know that you will not be able to go on the helipad. I've had a few guests come up to me and ask how to get to the helipad, and I've had to say, I'm sorry, but you can't. So as you may be able to tell, we are docked in Honduras. I haven't actually managed to get off in Honduras yet, so let me know in the comments what you think of Honduras, if you have been, and what there is to do here. It actually looks like I'm filming on a totally different day because the clouds over there look mean. There looks like there's a really big storm just about to roll in. So maybe we should make this quick. And this is the bow of the ship where, you know, if crew members want to have a little Titanic moment, they can. So these little windows at the front of the ship, the majority of them are going to be uh, guest, like passenger window cabins. Some of them will be crew cabins as well. Uh, and then of course you have the bridge right at the top. And again, it looks like a totally different day. You would not know that there were those clouds rolling behind me. Now we have come downstairs and this is one of the crew smoking areas. Nice little view of Honduras out the window. And this is the smoking area in all its glory. Now, I don't really come here because I don't smoke. And this is the smoking area in the evening. If some of the guys that I work with want to go for a drink after work, this is usually where we go. It is nice that there is an area for like smokers and non-smokers to sit together. Okay, but for those crew members that do not smoke, like myself, and want to, you know, go out in the evening and not come back to the cabin smelling like smoke, this is the crew bar that we go to. Well, it's not actually a bar, it's more like a games room. Um, and this is all at the front of the ship, by the way. Okay, so to the right, we've got a foosball table. We've got a pool table here. And this is just like the best place to come and chill out. So what I've noticed from my time working at sea, and for those of you who don't know, I've been working at sea for 10 years, so quite a while. It's really difficult to find somewhere that's quiet on a cruise ship. And sometimes you just want to sit in silence, but not be in your cabin because you want some natural light. So it's really nice that they have this room to just come and sit and, I don't know, call home or scroll on the internet or whatever you want to do. So this isn't so much as a crew bar, but people do come here in the evening. You could bring like a beer here or something, play pool, hang with your friends. And then if we go over to the other side, so here we have like the computer room and then a little gaming console. They usually have a PlayStation. And this is just another area where you can chill out. So we're gonna go down one level. This is the crew bar. So as you can tell, this is just like a little pub, a really nice place to just come and chill and sit with your friends. So Harmony is definitely not short on places to socialize. Now I'm gonna show you the like indoor crew bar. This is where crew members do karaoke usually. And then if we have like a crew party, we'll sometimes have it in here. 
actually I only discovered this place a week ago so for my whole time on here I thought that the three places we've just seen were the only like crew areas and then one night me and Josh discovered that there was a whole new crew bar which I will show you now down again here we go here we go hi so this is the crew bar and there's your big karaoke screen there's a space for the band to perform and have some live music we've never had that while i've been on board but i'm sure it has been used before all right so those are all like the crew bars and now i'm going to show you some other crew spaces All right, so this is one of the crew training rooms. So when we first came on board and had all of our like welcome aboard training, this is where we did it. Usually on a smaller ship, the mess is only open at certain times. But because this is so huge, there's so many people's schedules to take into account, there is food 24 seven on this ship. So we have this mess here, and when this mess is closed, this mess is open. And there's like a, um, a crew celebration thing going on today. So they've got loads of stuff So this is Java Cafe, otherwise known as the coffee shop. This is where crew can get their coffee from in the day and they can also buy a bottle of alcohol for their cabin in the evening. You can also take a seat here if you wish, but as you can see it's empty. It normally is because obviously everyone's working. And then in the evening the crew shop opens and also in the day on sea days. So the crew shop basically sells all of the essentials that crew might need and snacks are definitely essentials and then of course you've got like deodorants lotions at the end and some medication and to be fair it's a pretty good crew shop it's one of the better ones that I've seen here we have bikes so if crew members want to rent a bike and go out in port and cycle they can do that and then we go on to the i-95 okay so the i-95 is the big crew corridor so this is where the crew move from one part of the ship to the other without being seen by guests well, cruise ships are a bit like rabbit warrens because you exit the i-95 and there are loads of crew corridors all crew corridors look exactly the same I always recommend when you're first on board you put like a sticker on your door or something because I mean how are you gonna tell it's like Rose on the Titanic when she was trying to escape how do you tell which way to go so something like this I don't know whose cabin this is something like that is great because it helps distinguish from all of the other cabins that you're gonna have to walk by so this is a typical typical crew corridor and obviously once you've learned your way around it's easier to navigate but I mean look at this so maybe bring a sticker or a magnet or something or a stocking <laughs> to hang on your door but those are just a few of the secret crew only areas that passengers don't get to see on board Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas. 
but I hope you have enjoyed seeing them with me. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. I am now gonna go and get ready for work. And yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.